feel like when you do the service learning, you're changing each other's worlds just by meeting each other and having those relationships. It's not a one-way thing. Um, you know, how much and to what effect, and maybe it doesn't look like what you thought it would look like, but you are because you're forming this relationship and you're doing this exchange between two people and two cultures. Our mission actually is the union of study and service, so we think of it as the knowing and the doing. It is very rigorous academic work um, and community-based learning. Our students are placed in a variety of nonprofit agencies or NGOs in the host communities, learning about teamwork, learning about intercultural communication, and this is really a, a level of immersion and contact with the host culture that you don't get in, in another type of program. There's a level of, of service learning in another culture that you can't obtain without being in that kind of environment and without doing that service um, of understanding, of experiencing that culture and the people within that culture. And you have to be very flexible as far as your schedule goes and your duties for the day. And if they don't assign you something specifically, then you need to use your best judgment and see what needs to be done. The opportunity is you get to dream up kind of the space and really work with the staff and work with the individuals you're working with to try to figure out what they need and what skills that you can offer to best assist with that program. In Thailand, I worked with a group of women weavers. It's actually an entire village came together to build all of their own looms. They raised their own worms for silk. They made all their own handmade dyes. And then they um, reinvigorated their local community by bringing all that together to make a product. And they made these beautiful shawls. So when I went to Thailand, they'd already been making the shawls and they had all the equipment, but they didn't really have a way to sell them. So they had all these just stacks of shawls that were sitting there. Um, so I, I designed an online store for them. One of the things that I did is we, they had this tutoring after school program for the children in the neighborhood. So I initially started taking part in that, but they also had um, some people in the community that weren't attending school because they had disabilities and they had one man in the community that they really wanted him to learn how to read and write. And he um, had been shot when he was 16 and ended up paralyzed from the waist down. I wasn't really sure if we were making progress or what, what was happening with him because there was a lot of underlying factors of depression. He normally would always be in his bed, he wouldn't be dressed, he'd just have a blanket over him and he just looked depressed usually when I come in the room and this one week he was up and he was in his wheelchair and he was outside with a big smile on his face waiting for me and I was just like okay you know we're getting someplace and and you know whether he had learned to read or write in Spanish or not it was kind of um, not as important as that that moment. Whether you go on a program for three weeks or a semester there is that spark of wanting to, wanting to help people, which is something that we love. This is something we want to see in our participants, and it's probably the one key thing we look for. Um, do you want to help people? Do you like to be with people? We hope that we can make students realize that they're going to be part of the bigger whole, and whatever piece of that bigger whole that they end, uh, end up doing matters. Um, and without them, it couldn't proceed. The largest learning you're going to have is going to come from within. You know, I think from a program like this and you're gonna learn a lot about yourself you're gonna learn a lot about the world around you it just made me realize the wealth of opportunity that's out there for someone who wants to travel but is also very community minded and oriented this really changed the way I look at the world around me the way that I think about issues it's the way that I think about myself I'm taking that into my work I'm taking that into my social life I'm taking that into every aspect of my life for the rest of my life and I just think when people invest in other people, they feel good. I really do think that that, that changes things for Gabrielle, who's one person, but um, we should all have that investment in us. Everybody deserves that.